I remember 25 years ago when I first started telling my wife, I want to buy a business. We just got out of the military. I didn't know anything. I didn't have any money. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. But I kept telling her, I got to buy a business. I know this is what I'm destined to do. I want to do it. And I got tired of just talking about it. I got tired of just researching about it. And one day, I was sitting with a client at a radio station. He owned an automotive shop, a franchise. And he says, Ed, look, I got to tell you, in two weeks, I'm going to file bankruptcy and close the doors. I'm done. I've got a full-time job. It's actually going to pay me benefits. I get vacation, 401k. He says, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm done with this business. And I said, wait, wait, wait. You need to let me know what you'll take for it. Because I know a lot of people in town, a lot of business owners, let's see if we can sell this for you in, the, in these next two weeks. And if we can't, do what you're going to do. But if we can't sell it, then, then you do this. But if we can sell it, we can at least stop the bankruptcy part. You can pay off some debt. I said, what's the minimum you'll take? Walk away. That'll help you pay off the debt so that you can stay afloat. He said, boy, if somebody just gave me $20,000 for this business. And something just clicked on the inside of me. I don't know what happened, but I remember sticking my hand out and he said, I'll buy it. <laughs> I knew nothing about automotive. I've never even to that point changed the oil in my car or rotated my tires. I'm pathetic. I had no idea what I was doing, but boy, I was excited. I'm going to buy an automotive shop. I got home and I'm talking to my wife and she says, wait, 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 wait. We're, we're 20 something years old. What do we know about an automotive shop? She says, pointing to me, she goes, I know more about cars than you do. What are you going to do? She said, you can't even leave your job. She goes, we don't even have the money to buy it. What, what were you thinking? And then the realization hit me. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what we're going to do. I have no money. We had nothing in the bank. We had no assets. We had no way to get a loan. And I had two weeks to pull this off. We had no way I was running it. I had to find a manager. We had to find employees. We had to find a ton of stuff. I didn't know what to do. But here's the amazing thing that happened. And over the next two weeks, we found the money. We found a manager. We found employees. We worked out an agreement with the franchise who had never done this prior to what we were asking to do, which means I didn't go back to the mother company for four weeks to learn the trade that we sent somebody in our stead. They finally allowed it. There were 900 franchises in the country that had never done it before. It is unbelievable what happens when you take the principle of ready, aim, fire, and you flip it around and you do fire, ready, aim. That's what I did. I did fire. I pulled the trigger first. I made a commitment and magic started to happen. I got tired, ladies and gentlemen, and maybe you are too, of talking about what we want to do, talking about our dreams, goals, and aspirations, talking about all the things that we want to become and do and make. That's the ready stage. We're talking. And it sounds good. And we love it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But we very rarely even graduated to the aim. And the aim is the research stage. Okay, I want to buy a business. I'm talking about it. So I start doing research. I start learning. I start meeting with people who are business owners. I start going online to the library seminars, reading books, listening to CDs. And what I find happens, and what happened to me, maybe it's happening to you. That becomes a cycle. We go, ready? We're talking, talking, talking. And then we might even aim. And we're doing research and we're learning. And then we cycle back to ready. And we go back into aim. And we're talking and researching, talking and researching. And we never break the cycle. We get stuck right there. I say, the way to break the cycle, pull the trigger. Make the commitment. And watch what happens. Yes, it is scary. I wish I could tell you that in that two weeks, I slept. I didn't sleep. I was living on coffee, on adrenaline. I was crazy. But it was some of the most exciting times of my life. I grew more in those two weeks than I ever had in any other point of my life. Because we made the commitment first. And then the money followed, the manager followed, the resources followed, the information followed. Everything started to come into place. Yeah, we had to jump and we had to run and we had to take some risks. But it was wonderful. We made it rain. What are you missing by getting caught up in the ready aim stage? I want you to pull the trigger. Not on marriage, not on having kids. That's ready aim fire stage. But on your dreams, goals, and aspirations, stop playing it safe. You've talked about it, you've done research, then pull the darn trigger. Make it happen and watch what happens when you make the commitment. Watch what starts to take place when you've pulled the darn trigger. Magic starts to happen. It will never happen until then. My name is Ed Carcary, and I'd love to hear from you and connect with you at edcarcary.com. Find your passion, you'll find your life.